happening. Happy Monday. Monday is starting out strong already. I got up this morning, got dressed because I was going to tennis, told Rob I wouldn't go to the gym with them because I had tennis, was looking at my schedule, <laughs> and I have an appointment during tennis. So happy Monday. Today here at the Blended Nest, I am going to be getting ready for spring fling that starts March 1st. I, I talked about it a little bit in our live on Saturday, and I will be sharing anything and everything spring. It could be small DIYs to decor to items that I will be using in our house, just anything spring. I Spring is my favorite season, absolute favorite, favorite season. I love it because it's, 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 I hear the birds singing, the trees budding. It's my favorite season. So I want to celebrate it and share all things spring. I actually have an Easter DIY that I should, I'm going to start ordering the supplies. They should be very inexpensive, but it's something that I can put on the fireplace mantle. It's something you could put on a shelf or anywhere, basically. But I'm going to make two for the fireplace mantle. So, be a part of our spring fling. This should be this should be fun. Back from my appointment, I'm going to try the strip well on this bowl. I picked this up for four dollars the other day, and it looks like someone stained it. And I really want it to have the natural wood. So I'm going to use strip wall on this, and I think I have another bowl just like this that needs the same treatment. So I think I'm going to do both bowls at the same time, and I'm going to finish the table because I have a spot for that. And at some point this week, I'm going to start working on these beauties. So that is what's happening at the Blended Nest today. Another bowl that I bought for $1.99 and it's all chipping and it looks, it just needs some extra loving care, some TLC. So I will be using the strip well on this and we'll see what's underneath that polyurethane. Bowls that I will be refinishing and I'm using this product and you spray a light coat on it, leave it set for 15 minutes and come back and check to see if things have started changing if they haven't spray a thicker coat and this stuff should come right off table that i've been working on i'm going to sand it one more time i decided not to do anything with this because there's so many details i could spray this and use steel wool on it i still might i'm not sure I'm really not sure because I don't think this needs to be refinished and it is a very it has a very dull finish so that's kind of what I want for this so we'll see what this looks like I'm gonna get again I'm gonna sand this down one more time and see if I can make this all look the same here is the update on the bowls I scrubbed this one and it looks like it's almost off so I'm gonna put another coat on that one this one I scrubbed it and it's still a little bit sticky so I'm going to use another coat of the strip well and let it set and then I will come back and scrub it table is all ready to go. I sanded it again, wiped it down. It looks like it's starting to rain here, so I'm going to have to pull it in. But the stain looks like, I don't know, maybe early American with a little bit of oak in it. So this is, this is going to be a challenge to try to match it, but I think it can be done. I ordered an item off of Amazon that finally came in and I wanted to share it with you. I haven't used it yet, but this is called a splatipus. This is to get down in those jars and get those last bits out. And I thought I would try it while I was showing you. A jar of Trader Joe's Nutella. And I thought I would try to scrape it away and see how much we can get out if this thing really works. So let's start scraping. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in a 
little bowl. I think I'm impressed so far because I can never get down in there. This was all the way to the edges. Wow. Can you see that? It's getting down in those nooks and crannies. Look at that. I'm a fan. This is the cleanest jar I've ever had of this Nutella spread, cocoa almond spread. I'm a fan. remember these but I bought these at a second-hand store not too long ago I paid $1.99 I bought two of them I'm using this in a project for spring fling and wanted to give them a touch-up I'm not liking all this rusty look so I'm using this rub and buff and just putting that on those spots to see if I can lighten it up a bit I'm gonna use antique gold rub and buff so this is what it looks like before you can see the rusty color there, and I added the antique gold on top. You see the difference? The real dark, and then right there. And I left the white in between because I really like that. So I'm gonna get busy and get the rest finished. is all complete although it's a very subtle change it's a change that I really like the rust is gone it's basically just different tones of gold and like I said I left this white in here just to give it a little more of a dimension so I'm gonna be using this in one of my first projects for spring fling it's gonna be a very easy DIY so if you have something like this or even a flower pot you might be able to make the project too